Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove your right front wheel. I want to go ahead and remove this little button right here. Right up underneath here, there's another plastic button securing the back section. I want to go ahead and do the same in the back. Once that button's out, you can tuck this down and out of the way. Inside the driver's side wheel well, there's a plastic button right here. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Across the front, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of our plastic push pins supporting the shield. Ours was damaged and we received it with some components missing already. The ones we do have, let's go ahead and remove those. We're gonna use a pick to get underneath a little bit. Go ahead and pry this open. And use a trim tool to go ahead and remove the center and pull the pin. Continue across the front. Go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket and remove this bolt. Now there would normally be a second one back here, but our bolt is missing. On the other side, over here, there's a plastic push pin. I'm gonna pop out the center, remove that lock button. And then there's one in the back over here. Let's go ahead and do the same. Now in the lower portion of the radiator, we have our pet cock or drain plug right here. I'm gonna turn that counterclockwise. Have your catch can underneath. Go ahead and drain your cooling system. Once all your coolant is drained out, go ahead and snug up the drain plug here. On the top of the connector right here, press in. I'm going to separate the connector right here. Release it for any of the tabs down below. And we'll tuck that down. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and extension and come in right underneath. And come in underneath our motor mount and we're gonna remove this bolt from the heat shield. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our other lower heat shield bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our upper heat shield bolt. I'm just gonna use a 10 millimeter gear wrench for this side here. When we get to our last bolt right there, we're gonna reach down with our gear wrench and get that out. We wanna go ahead and remove our 10 millimeter bolt right underneath here. This is holding the bracket and our expansion tank for our radiator. Right. Once you remove that bracket, we'll set that aside. At this stage here, if you want, you can open up the expansion tank and if you have a suction tool, you can go ahead and drain any of the uh, antifreeze or coolant out of your reservoir. And I'll just go ahead and pop off our cap here off of our expansion. Let's go ahead and disconnect the connector on our AC cooling fan. You're gonna press on this little gray tab. I'm just gonna use our pliers here. Give us a little bit of assistance in pulling that off. And there we go. Just tuck that aside. 
We're gonna go ahead and remove our four 10 millimeter bolts holding both fans, the cooling fan and the two on this side here for our radiator fan. On the bottom side of the radiator fan, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the connector here. There's a little tab on there you can press and release. We're gonna use our pliers here to give us a little assistance. Go ahead and pop that free. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove our lower fan bolts here. I'm gonna switch over to our gear wrench over here. Give us a little more clearance. Once we get this out, we'll go ahead and remove our AC cooling fan. All right, down along the side here, there's gonna be a little connector that's pressed on to a little metal tab. I'm gonna use our pliers here. I'm gonna grab that whole connector and just wiggle it up and loose. With that separated, we'll continue to lift up our fan. Go ahead and loosen the hose clamp for your upper radiator hose. I'm just gonna slide this back. Now we're gonna go ahead and loosen the hose itself. I'm just gonna use the pliers just to loosen that and then pull it and twist it. Work that up and off. Grab your radiator fan. Work that up and out. Using a Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and release the center of this plastic lock button. And pop that up. Get underneath the bottom and pull that out. This next one's here, we're gonna use a pick. Get underneath the head. Pull this up. Pull these out as we go across. And our last Phillips head right here. With those buttons removed, grab the cover, gently tug upward. Set that aside. It's gonna give us access to this upper bolt for the heat shield. Shield. We're going to use this particular O2 sensor tool and we're going to fit it up into this area here to get this oxygen sensor out. Now we removed our front heat shield. We can reach up around the front side of this and we're going to fit this over like so. Get that onto the sensor and then we we'll use our ratchet to go ahead and remove this. Now with the ratchet on, we're going to Pull this down. Once we get that sensor loose, we'll go ahead and remove our ratchet. Then we'll go ahead and work this off. Once this tool is off, we'll go ahead and thread out that O2 sensor. Let's go ahead and feed our O2 sensor up and into place. Get the thread started on this here. We're gonna try using a 22 millimeter wrench to get in here to go ahead and snug that sensor down. So with our wrench, we were able to just get a little bit snug but not properly tightened. So we put our tool back on you want to make sure when installing your O2 sensor that you tighten it up that the crush washer itself is compressed properly. Now once it's snugged down into place, you got to remove your tools. Then we're going to take our connector and we're just going to tuck it up on top 
Let's get a lower our heat shield down. We'll grab our back heat shield and we're just gonna get one of these bolts lined up. Start threading it in by hand. Let's go ahead and get our lower heat shield bolts installed. Okay, before we tighten that down, let's go ahead and get the other side in. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-install our two lower bolts for our fan. When we lower down our fan, we have our little notches right here. These are gonna slip right over the bolts. Now from the bottom side here, here's our fan, here's our little tab, and here's the bolts. There's one further over to the left. So we're going to lift up our fan, push it over, and drop it right down. With this lined up here, we're gonna go ahead and reach up and grab our wiring harness, run this over the top of our lower radiator hose. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to our fan. Press it in until you hear it click and you're good to go. Go ahead and position our fan. Get our upper bolt started there and one on this side here. Once those are started, let's go ahead and snug those down. Now we're just anchoring plastic to plastic so it doesn't have to be super tight. Once it snugs up, you're done. We're going to install our lower bolt for our AC condenser fan. Let's go ahead and lower our fan down. We're going to line up the notch on the bottom of our fan with our stud. Then we'll go ahead and get our upper bolts installed. I'm going to go ahead and raise up our fan. Get it behind the washer, lower that down. I'm gonna thread in that bolt a little bit more just to hold that in place. Before we tighten this, let's go ahead and get our two upper bolts installed. Let's go ahead and get our fan lined up. We did put a little bit of anti-seize compound on the bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and get these threaded in. And once these are threaded in, we'll go ahead and snug those down. Once you snug down, you don't have to tighten them down any further. Let's go ahead and tighten down these bolts right here. Once it gets snug, go ahead and stop and repeat for this side here. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers here. We're gonna grab this little gray connector here and it just sits on a little tab on the side of the fan shroud. So I'm gonna grab it with the pliers, just bring it over and press it down and on. So now it's hanging on that little bracket there. Next, we wanna reach down and grab our connector right here for our fan. Go ahead and bring this over, line that up. Press it in, you'll hear a click. And I'll put our lower pin into the fan assembly. Put this notch into this fan. Once that pops in, I'm gonna go ahead and take our bracket Line this up. All right, once that bracket is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and get our bolt installed. I'll go ahead and tighten this down. It's gonna install our expansion tank hose here. Grab your upper radiator hose, bring that on over. Slip that onto the radiator. Just open up that clamp and bring that on over. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to start to fill our cooling system here. You wanna make sure that you have the correct 
antifreeze recommended for your particular vehicle. And open up our expansion tank. And go ahead and start filling. Now once your radiator is full, I'm going to go ahead and remove these components here. I'm going to reinstall our regular radiator cap. Then we're going to add coolant to our expansion tank. There'll be a low and a full line on this here. You want to go ahead and fill it up to the full line. We're then going to go ahead and start up the vehicle. Let it run for about a half hour, 45 minutes. When that thermostat opens up, the engine will consume more coolant. Then we'll go ahead and open this up again and top off our coolant as necessary. And light up our radiator cover here. Install our plastic push pins. There's three across the front. Go ahead and fill up our coolant reservoir to that max line up top. And go ahead and reconnect our O2 sensor to the harness. Here we go. Go ahead and install our belly pan here. And get one of our bolts started here. And we have our plastic push pins. Pop these up into place. Install our rearward bolt on the back here. And then once we get these in a few threads, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. I'm gonna go ahead and install some of our plastic push pins here. Let's go ahead and install your wheel. Get our lug nuts all started by hand first and then we'll snug those down. We're going to torque our lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds. 